I totally forgot your name is Turnip. Oh my gosh, that is so cute for such a tiny little puppy. Look at you, Turnip. What a perfect name. Oh, this is awesome. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our laboratory here in The Sims 4, where we mix and match the genes across everything that our cats and dogs have to offer and often end up with things like blind temple cats and very, very adorable looking boxer pumpkin dogs dogs with rabbit whiskers. Yeah, we've been keeping things interesting here and it is time once more to dive into another episode and today we will be making a puppy. I rolled the dice. The dice say dogs. The dice better say cats soon because we are up to our 90th dog, which is kind of amazing. So if we have time, I'm actually going to try to make a cat today as well because poor Savannah here, she has only the 61st do or dog, the 61st cat cat on the feline side of our family tree and the dogs have really been getting ahead on the experiments but hopefully we'll be able to change that and add more of you guys in as the many many beloved animals of our laboratory. Also I just wanted to mention the custom content is truly one of the things that really really makes all of this shine that can give our dogs rabbit whiskers that can give our cats fangs and squirrel ears that can give us i mean look at these fangs oh my gosh that would be so much fun if we could just get some more fangs on our dogs they just look awesome we could have had pig noses on our puppies i love the custom content for the cats and dogs and i have noticed that uh kalinotron is working on a special Halloween update. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. If you guys haven't seen it yet, definitely go take a peek. I don't want to spoil it just yet, but let's just say no bones about it. But you guys might start seeing some very unique twist to what could be added in the future for the genetics that we do here in the random genetics challenge. So that said, let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be making a new puppy for Turnip as soon as Power Pixie 123, our lab assistant, ages up. So she has now become well, an elder. Oh, her hair took on this lovely shade of gray. She is still on the dark side of the force with some adorable red crocs. And that does mean because she is an elder, we are going to need need a new lab assistant next time. So all you guys need to do is just leave a comment down below letting me know it's okay to grab you as my lab assistant and basically change everything about you so that you can come and help me out with our cat and dog experiments. And let's hurry on because I really hope I can get Savannah a mate today too. So all right, we're going to go ahead and let Emmy Oh, Emmy, I forgot you were pink and you were missing a leg. I'm really sorry. The random genetics were hard on you. But Emmy is going to go play in the puppy play yard. We are going to have Zane go play in the puppy play yard. We are actually going to turn up. Yes. And we're going to have Lindsay go play in the puppy play yard. And here we are with Turnip. And Turnip, let's see what kind of mate we can make for you today. So, all right, let's get started. We are going to add in a pet. It is going to be a dog. Oh, hello. <gasps> Look at this corgi. Oh, that's so cute. We are going to do the breed mixer and we are going to randomize for a pure breed of dog four times. One. Oh, I absolutely have a really soft spot for golden retrievers. Oh my gosh. I would love to call you. And actually, are there Great Danes in here? Because I'm going to be quite perturbed if there is a Great Dane. Oh. <gasps> Why is there only one color of Great Dane? That's not a Great Dane. This is definitely a mixed breed Great Dane. <laughs> but I saw a beautiful Harlequin Great Dane with chips just like 20 minutes ago when we were on a walk around our neighborhood. Now I want a Great Dane again. I do miss Zoe so. But we have been talking about a Golden Retriever if we ever got a dog in the future. Fun facts with Siri. All right, let's hurry and randomize two, three. And the final randomization is four. <gasps> Whoa, okay, we're going with Malamutes. Oh, that brings back so many memories of our dog sled sagas. Oh, those were always so fun. Oh, now I want to make some of our dog sled saga dogs in Create a Pet. That might happen. That might happen to remember them by, guys. That would be so cute. All right, and now we are going to randomize the Alaskan Malamute and a mystery mix breed three times. One, two, Three. Oh my gosh. You are beautiful. Look at this beautiful dog. <laughs> oh wow. I would like you guys to actually meet Frostheart. What a perfect 
perfect name for our 90th dog in our canine family tree and what a perfect name for a dog that is an Alaskan Malamute mix. This is such a beautiful dog. I am so excited to see where we go and Frostheart, thank you so much for leaving such a kind comment on our previous episodes. Also, let's go ahead and randomize. We have Vocal, which I will totally, I'm fine with leaving that, and we'll randomize a couple more of the traits really quickly before we see what the appearance is going to be like. So 12 on the first trait, and we'll we'll start from vocal. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Playful. Then 12 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A playful vocal hunter. That actually does kind of sound like an Alaskan Malamute to me. So that totally works out. Now, this dog is gorgeous. I'm going to I'm going to be really sad, but we need to change so many things about her. So, let's begin. <laughs> All right. Come along, come along, Power Pixie. I need your assistance. Uh we are going to start manipulating the genes of this fine puppy and seeing what we end up with. So let us begin the experiments by randomizing the body 10 times. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. There we go. All right, tail or no tail. We also have cow tail and horse tail. It'd be interesting if we could have like multiple tails for dogs. That would be kind of cool. I don't know what other kind of dog, what other kind of dog tails would you like have if you guys could make any kind of cool mod for your dogs? What kind of tails would you give them? Cause that, now I'm actually kind of curious. Like a peacock tail. <laughs> I would love a peacock tail on the dog. That would be amazing. Even if it was just like a little short stubby one. Oh my gosh. All right. Clearly I am mad with science. Let's carry on. One, two, three, four, five. We have a small little twirly do tail. I'm totally happy with that. We've got to change everything about the face before we go on. Okay, come on. We will not change the head shape because hopefully we will maintain some of that unique mix of Alaskan Malamute and whatever else was added. We're going to change the ears twice. One, two. Oh, those are cute. We're going to change the nose three times. One, two, three, four, or three, three, back, back. Oh, oh wow, a really light colored nose. And we are going to be changing the eyes four times. One, two, three, four. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Frost Tart. That's all right, she still has kind of a very soulful gaze. I like it. All right, we're gonna be changing the coat color and pattern six times. One, two. <gasps> that would have been so cool. Three, ah! four, five, six. Oh my gosh, gray dog. We had the the stitch pattern and we had the fox pattern and we end up on gray dogs. No frost art, help us. Let's change all of the colors. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, it's still a gray dog. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay, we're doing better. Come on, frost art. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Blue, that counts. I'm sure if I squint, I can see it on your toes. <laughs> and then one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so this is actually a really pretty dog. Uh, I like the golden coloring fading into the brown coloring. Let's see what type of fur we are going to have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, I like the fur. I like that we have a lot of fur going on. Oh, there we go, Frostheart. In the end, you do look kind of like a normal dog, but I will take it. You are a beautiful, beautiful dog, and maybe we'll balance out some of Turnip's uniqueness. And now, after all, there may be some very unique traits that Frostheart will have herself, because for eight times, we are going to dive into the most powerful of the random genes that we have to offer. Everything from gigantic antlers to gigantic fangs to like half of a horse's face are in here. So we literally have quite a bit to see. Let's go ahead and randomize seven times. One, I think I said seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's see what we ended up with here. All right, we have a cute little hat. If we take the hat off, nothing is there. All right, if we keep going down, if we keep going down, we have a little tie, it's adorable. We have a little shirt. And we at least ended up with hooves, okay. 
<laughs> there we go, guys. So a pretty normal looking dog with hooves this time, which is pretty cool. Frostheart, congratulations on being our 90th dog. We definitely need to rustle up some cats in the near future too. And let's actually see what our puppies would look like. So we're gonna grab Frostheart and we are going to grab Turnip and we are going to randomize four of their puppies. Let me randomize up another name. Dun, 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 dun. All right, got a new name and we are gonna see Frost Heart and Turnip's fourth puppy. So this would be puppy number one. Looks just like Turnip. Puppy number two. Three. <gasps> Whoa! Wow! Um, hi, Storm. Named, and actually that's for Galaxy Girl who asked that we use the name Storm for her cat. This is not a cat, but this is going to be one of our bonus dogs of the day because this is like, can this be Toby's girlfriend? Like seriously, can you imagine Toby and my green legacy having puppies with this dog? Cause wow. Um, I'm going to say that she's kind of stubborn, but I will say that she's friendly, even though she's very stubborn. And how about we go ahead with smart? So she's oh. smart and stubborn and friendly. So she has a mind of her own, but she is really beautiful. I would not have thought this dog could have been produced from frost heart and turnip. No offense to you two, uh, but I'm really impressed. I'm really, really impressed because this is, this is a beautiful dog. All right, so now we are going to mix the last of the genes. So we're gonna grab turnip. We're gonna grab frost heart. We're gonna have one more puppy. <gasps> now how did we even end up with this puppy it is so cute oh my gosh <gasps> all right all right all right we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna see this daughter oh my gosh i thought she was gonna grow up to look like frost heart and storm she's got her father's eyes <laughs> All right, well, welcome everybody to K9 Experiment 91. I would like to introduce all of you to Cora. So Cora, thank you so much for leaving such a sweet comment in our last video. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and randomize your traits, my dear. And you are actually going to be an active puppy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, who's independent. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And aggressive. So you've got a lot going on. You've got a lot going on, Cora, but I like it. I like it. We've got a little um Well, we've got we've got a little feisty dog here. And I think that there's actually hooves for small dogs. If I recall correctly, yes, there are hooves for small dogs. So we are actually going to randomize and we are going to see if you inherit the hooves from your Mother Frostheart. So let's go ahead, where's my dice? There you are. Yes, all right, and we have hooves. So we have a hooved tiger dog, which is definitely, definitely an interesting addition, but that's perfect. Look at you. You've got such spunk and uniqueness and actually you're really cute and I, I kind of want to keep you and I like you a lot. So there we go, guys. We now have a puppy and Turnip has now passed on the torch and we've got beautiful, beautiful Storm who has come to join us as well. And I think next time we're actually going to try to carry on like two litters of cats and I do need to make a new lab assistant. So this is gonna get a little tricky because I really have to have the cats kind of catch up. So we might start breeding a lot of cats pretty soon because we're coming up on the one year anniversary of having hundreds and hundreds of beautiful animals randomized in our random pet genetics challenge and I would love to be able to have the cats catch up uh, and get closer to completing like 100 of each animal because this has been so fun and I want to get to 100 of each and just see where we go so if you guys could leave some comments and if you guys could go ahead and let me know if you would like to be our lab assistant I will randomize all of the comments we use a random generator to make sure it's fair pick you guys out and then you might start seeing like double litters of cats start popping up so that we can catch up with our puppies and then have a grand finale of being able to reach the goal of 100 animals in both the canine and feline experiments of um of our laboratory and then who knows where we'll go from there i'm sure i'll come up with some equally wacky idea but i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you all next time Bye bye <laughs>